YouTube, it's your boy Cal, bringing another video on the channel today, yeah. Um, so, uh, hope you guys have been chilling, hope you guys have liked the past couple videos, um, I've been putting a lot of effort into these videos, really trying to up the quality, really trying to get on my grind, you know, I'm back at college, trying to get up two uploads a week, you know, I, f even though, very slightly, but very minimal, the views are starting to go up. The views are starting to go up. We're starting to get more consistent people watching these videos and understanding what I'm trying to say. And, you know, that's kind of like the whole point. And that's really what I'm glad to, I'm glad to see it and hear it and smell it and, yeah, all of it. So, the topic for today, 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 the topic is about Kobe, okay? Not specifically about Kobe, but I want to relate it back so being grateful, being grateful for just the moments you have, being grateful for the moments you have with people, having gratitude for just every little thing in life. You know, I've talked about this so many times. I thought I made, I made at least two videos on it, but I want to reiterate it for you guys because it's really essential that you guys implement this into your life. It, it doesn't matter. Listen, you don't have to watch my channel. You don't have to do anything. But every human being should be grateful for what they have, even if it's very minimal, you know? At least you have it, you know? So, with the recent passing of Kobe, you know, he, I mean, he died in a helicopter crash um, with his 13-year-old daughter who was, like, supposed to be, like, amazing at basketball. And, you know, basketball aside, you know, I, that is horrible to see. You never want to see that coming from anybody, you know, dying in a helicopter crash out of nowhere and of all people for it to be Kobe. I mean, you can just see how it shook up like the entire world literally i remember i got i, I didn't believe it at first because espn didn't report on it and they didn't confirm it until at least like a couple hours after like it really happened and 
you see the aftermath of the plane and the ashes of like you know the plane crashing not the plane sorry the air the helicopter crashing um and it's really sad to see and i can't even imagine being in like kobe's family's shoes someone that was close to kobe you know he was he did so much more than basketball you know like obviously when i was a kid you know he was like that one player that him and lebron him paul pierce you know those players i would always like look out for him, wanted to watch their games, you know, but Kobe was just different, he had this motivation about him, he had this drive to just fucking tear down everything, it's like also known as Mamba mentality, that's just how how he is, and you know, over the past couple days, I'm not, I'm not, by no means was I a big Kobe fan, you know, but uh, I definitely have watched a fair amount of games, and I've definitely have had my fair share of experiences, you know, watching and experiencing his games, but with the recent passing of Kobe's death, I've noticed that people are starting to realize, like, oh my gosh, like, it was out of nowhere, so unexpected, he was such a great guy, you know, why did it have to happen to Kobe, why this, why that, you know, and it's kind of weird in the sense that for people to realize how to be grateful, it takes such a big and impactful person to die, you know, it's weird, like, with celebrity deaths, you know, they kind of have this odd influence towards the human race, you know, but it only lasts for a certain amount of time, you know, and I try to remind myself of this every day, you know, sure people may be like within the first couple days of Kobe dying being like, I like, you know, they, they have, they share love with their others, but you want to share love every single day. And that's so important because sure with Kobe's death, people are going to be for a short amount of time going to be like, Oh mom, I love you. I'm so grateful. You're in my life, but you're only saying that because Kobe died, you know what I mean? And no disrespect to Kobe or anything, but you're only saying that because such an influencer reminded you of it. You want to remind yourself of that every day. Remind yourself that you have so many good things going for you. Remind yourself that you live in such a great world. And sure, there are so many problems and so many issues, but if you're on your feet and you have your basic needs met, you're, you're living a great life. And you know, obviously... I get it, you know, I, I go through this, by no means am I perfect, I'm trying to learn this with you guys, I face emotions on a daily basis, whether it be school, uh, fucking girls, you know, social life, you know, it, it all gets to you eventually, but I always come back down to the conclusion that I'm so grateful to have everything, everything around me, you know, I, I've got like this yoga bow, I've got you guys, I've got, I have the opportunity and privilege to create a YouTube channel and I'm so grateful for that. You know, no, not, not so many people in life don't even have the opportunity to go for their goals and dreams. Like, I'm so lucky that I'm even able to do this. Whether I'm successful or not, at least I did it, you know? Like, it's not about the success. It's about me trying new things. You know, obviously, if I keep grinding and I keep going, the success will eventually come. But I'm just so grateful for even the opportunity to sit here and talk to you guys in front of a $400 camera that I invested in myself. That is crazy. I Ask me a year ago, I would have never done that. But I, I just want you guys to know that, like with Kobe's passing, he such an impactful character with so many great morals and values in his life. I mean, it, it kind of just puts into perspective that like you guys really, you guys can go any day, any day any day you can go so you gotta live i know this is such a cliche quote you gotta live every day like it's your last day you really do because you can go any day realize that and go at any time like it's so it's so scary to think about but it's the reality we live in you know so many people think oh i'm gonna live to like 90 years old bro don't even like i, I do this all the time i'm like oh man i can't i don't want to get old i'm so i'm scared about like where am i gonna be in 10 years how about i worry about where I'm going to be in a day from now. Why can't I be grateful for the moment that I'm in and be happy with what I have and what I don't need? You know, I don't need all these extra things, you know. They'll come in time, you know. And obviously, it's great to treat yourself, but just remember, guys, be grateful for what you have. I'm so grateful that I have the ability to see. I'm so grateful that I have the ability to have ears, you know. And... Another thing that really comes down to it is putting your ego to the side. Why you, you, you can't, you, ego gets in the way so much. 
of the time. Your ego is like a separate person and your ego builds up all this emotion and like different character that it, it just removes yourself. So if you can control your ego and remove all those like, not negative emotions necessarily, but just not that side of you and just realize like, holy crap, I'm living such a great life. Um, Then you'll also be, you'll be very grateful for what you have. You know, and I hate to say it, but to, for me, like, dude, my ego gets in the way so much. Like, so many, I told you guys about how looks don't matter, but, dude, I catch myself every day being like, oh, how, how am I looking, you know, that's all that matters. You know, that, that's not what I want, man, you know, and I need to work on that. And that's what I need to do. I need to become more grateful of in, what's inside rather than what's on the outside. And I know this video is kind of everywhere. I just want to say my condolences to Kobe. I hope... His family's doing well. I hope everything's doing well. And honestly, guys, say a prayer. You know, even though prayers may not do anything, you know, you never know. It sends a good intellectual message. And, yeah. So, prayers to Kobe. Great basketball player. Even better human. And, uh, yeah, be grateful, guys. You can really can go at any time. Um, it's a snap of the finger. And uh, love you guys. And peace out.